Welcome Thunder community to another Thunder Talk. Um, before we get started, I want to give a shout out to um, some local companies, businesses that have, have really come alongside Discovery Canyon um, as a whole and specifically athletics. And, and we just want to say thank you to those um, to those businesses and we really do appreciate the support. And so first one is Dr. Bailey with Bailey Orthodontics. Um, he's right over here um, in the shopping center close to Discovery Canyon. We just want to say thanks to Dr. Bailey and all that he's given to Discovery Canyon. We truly do appreciate it. Um, Colorado Springs Orthopedic Group, they come alongside our athletic teams. Um, they have for many, many years now, um, really since we've been open. And, and I just want to say thanks to to those doctors for Dr. Watson, Dr. Jones, uh, Dr. Dresser, just for helping us out, you know, like coming alongside us and, and helping our athletes out and our kids and and families and stuff. So we really do appreciate that. Pine Pine Top Orthodontics as well. We'd like to give a shout out to them and Carol Briglio and Associates. Um, just for just those four companies coming alongside Discovery Canyon Athletics is is huge, and we really do um, appreciate it. And so if there's somebody out there that wants to come alongside us, um, you can get in touch with our booster team. Give me a give me a shout out, and we can get you plugged in here at Discovery Canyon. But we really do appreciate those um, companies and organizations for what they're doing um, to help Discovery Canyon Athletics and our Discovery Canyon campus um, in general. Um, a couple of other reminders is, is that uh, we are going to, there'll be information out about our signing here. We're going to have some prom promotional videos with the kids that are all signing in February. And, um, and so look forward to that as well as um, you know, we got about a week and a half left of school. Next week is finals week. And I just want to say to all the students here and, um, and families, um, you know, really, um, you got to start buckling down now to finish right. Um, and that's what we're looking to do. So academics is super, super important. Um, and so I would just um, highly recommend, you know, get some extra studying in, um, you know, and, and get those, you know, assignments turned back in and, and things like that. So we just want to... Um, you know, wish everybody well on their on their you know finals and and stuff. But uh, we know that you've got a lot of you know you got to put in that work, and so um, you know let us know what we can do to support you as well. This week we've got a uh, you know following up last week. Um, you know last week we had um, boys basketball was in a tournament. Um, they lost in the final round to Brighton, a real tough Brighton team. Um, our girls. Girls basketball team, you know, if you look at the rankings right now, the, the girls basketball team has played like four of the top 10 teams in the state, um, you know, and we're right there knocking on the door. We lost a tough one against Mesa Ridge last week and, and then, you know, ran into a buzzsaw down in Pueblo West. But you know what? They're, they're headed in the right direction. Um, awesome things are happening. We just got to kind of make it over that um, push. So tonight we've got girls are up at Legend High School. And boys are down here at home. Uh, boys games at home start at uh, 4 in the Ox Gym with the J, uh, C Squad. JV start at 4.30 in the main gym. And then followed by 6 o'clock start time for um, the varsity team there. Boys, uh, the wrestling team was down at Pueblo East this last week. Tough tournament. Um, you know, some high caliber teams down there and stuff. Had a couple champs. It was good to see. Um, girls swimming. They're in action tomorrow um, down at uh, Mitchell High School against St. Mary's. Um, high school, that should be a, a great matchup. Um, we're looking forward to them. They had a ton of state cut times, meaning that they've got some kids and some teams, relay teams already qualified for the state tournament. Um, and so we're just looking for that improvement over the season and, and you know, and kind of going into this, uh, you know, final kind of push here as we end up, uh, you know, finishing up our kind of our winter sports, you know, this first semester. Um, it's gone fast um, at times. It seems like it uh, just flies by and stuff. And I don't know if that's because I'm getting older and things, life just gets a little faster. I don't know. Uh, but it's uh, it's been awesome watching the kids compete. Um, re reminder that tonight, um, you know, at basketball games, we got two home games this week. And then the girls and boys are playing a doubleheader at Coronado on Friday. So if you can get down there, watch them, that'd be awesome. Wrestling heads up to Greeley to a tournament up there. Swimming, like I said, is will be at Cheyenne Mountain as well as um, they're at uh, St. Mary's tomorrow. So, um, you know, get out and support these kids. Um, they're competing well. We're super excited for them. And, um, and you know, it's that time of season, you know, just kind of reflected on, you know, how we did this last year and reflected on, you know, where we can 
you know, do better and, and get better and stuff. And, and I would say that uh, if you could reach out and tell some of those coaches just thanks. Teachers, tell them thanks for pouring into kids. I mean, um, this time of year, everybody gets a little tired and stuff. But um, I'm just, it, it's awesome to hear every now and then, you know, that, um, you know, you're appreciated. And uh, we appreciate all the support. We appreciate um, parents and, and, and the kids competing and, and our staff and everything. So um, we're just looking forward to this uh, finish Finish strong, I say, you know, this last few weeks. And uh, we're looking forward to the January when we get into league play and, and stuff like that. So it's an exciting time. So if you see some kids um, out and about, that'd be awesome. Wish them well. And then finally, I just want to give a huge congratulations to our cheer team. Our cheer team competed last week at the state cheer competition up in Denver. And they were like one-tenth of a point away from making that finals um, on Saturday. It was awesome. They placed seventh. That's the best ever in program history. And um, and Coach Galvin, they just did a great job um, kind of finishing strong and stuff. And and now the cheer team turns around and supports the basketball teams and the, and the wrestling and swim teams. And so if you see a cheerleader, you know, whether they were on the competition team or they just cheer at the games, just tell them thanks. Um, they did an outstanding job and we are super uh, grateful and and uh, for them and, and what they did this year so anyway um, shout out to cheer team anyway uh, thanks student senate for all your help this week they're doing some deck the halls different decorations and and some movie nights so um, thanks to them and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the gyms this week